What up guys, your boy Jose, and today what I'll be doing is detailing my car. I have clinical today too, so aside from that, I also have to do a care plan, but, well, what do I need? Oh, I need a bucket. So basically, yeah, I started cleaning my car out. Uh, one thing that I started noticing is how incredibly dirty my seats are. My seats are horrible. They're horrible. Now, this is actually the seat that, with the driver's seat, it takes like a couple of hours for it to dry up. So I didn't start on this side. And I wanted to experiment on this side first. This side, um, like my little armrest thing. My armrest, like, legit, it was dirty because a lot of things spilled there, but I cleaned it up. Um, this side of here, obviously food, e-juice, and stuff like that. Sometimes it spills. And this is the part that I cleaned up. So there's like a huge difference. And at first I was like, I was thinking about going to a detailer to get a detail, but at the same time, I was like, like, if I go to a detail, I might have to continually go to a detail. I'm not, I don't know, me, I'm a type of person that I like doing it myself, so at least I know how to do it. And I know how to do it correctly. So, this is, this half was cleaned up already, this half wasn't, um, the process is pretty easy, it's really simple. Secret is you need this, like a hard brush, and clothing detergent, that's it, and a white cloth to wipe it, because the way it works is you have to aggravate the, the nastiness up here, then immediately you have to wipe it down, you can't let it soak in. And you do it consistently a couple of times and there's a big difference like a big best way to notice the big difference is over here on the side you notice on the top i already cleaned up but in the bottom boom it's it's there's a huge difference i don't know if the camera captured it but it's crazy but anyway i also got interior lights but yeah and this is gonna be like the panels to clean things off but let's go into detail with it but I need to start writing on my care pad but this is how it looks like so far oh, I'm trying it out see look all that dirt still picking it up nasty man um, the headpiece it's a lot more better than this one I think horrible than this one I'll end up doing it one more time later So my assignment was really to like like some nursing intervention and actually make a care plan like imagine a care plan and stuff like that. Um, I wasn't specified like it, it's not based on the real patient. If it was a real patient, I'll actually put values here. But it's just make believe. So I was like, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna take it to the moon. Keep it simple. Facts. Now I need to run out and find like a gift for my dad because it's his birthday today. I got him a shirt. And a magnetic gun. That's the same one, but it's still good. Mind change. I used to go shopping there a lot, but I don't know. It seems like they're going for an all black. Back in the days when I used to go shopping there, everything used to be gray. Like a black is chic. I mean, everything's all fashionable and black. All black, everything. So. Happy birthday to you. Woo woo woo. Happy birthday to you. Woo woo woo. Happy birthday, dear Ike. And dad. And dad. Happy birthday to you. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Oh my god. Blah. 
Now it's like 11 o'clock ish. It's like 10 57. Yep. Dropping off my bro, bro. Yup, yup. Hey. Dropping off my bro, then afterward. I am off to bed. And hopefully tomorrow I'm going to work on the seat again. And then I have to go to clinical. Do you see, the, do you see your lighting? No, but look at my lighting though. Look at that lighting. Nice. Dope. I feel like I'm in an airplane. You can't lie, bro. You feel like you're in a fancy airplane. Yeah. <laughs> it's like super relaxing. So I'm taking my legs. I'm a chocolate dropper. <laughs> I like Kevin Hart chocolate dropper. <laughs> Me and Bago take me serious. Me kicking my legs. 